Hello my dear artists, today I will show you how to paint this pink color lilies with watercolor. All the names of the colors you can find in the description. I will use six colors. Three of them are green shades and uh, you can use less colors. You can use even one or two green colors and uh, the only color that I absolutely love is paints gray and I use it in almost every of my painting. So um, I will use two brushes. Number four is Squader Reserva. You can use synthetic brush and I will also use number zero by Pebio synthetic brush for the small details. And this is my final painting that I will show you how I paint it soon. I used 100% cotton paper by Bachon and I suggest you also use cotton paper. I have a glued pad, it's very convenient for painting with watercolor, I love it. I already prepared a sketch that you can download from my Patreon. You can find the link in the description to this video. And I will remove the pencil lines with a kneadable eraser and I will move to the painting part. For the pink part of the flowers I will use uh, Ruby by White Knights and Kinecridon Rose by Van Gogh. You can use other shades that you have, it's totally fine. And also I have three green colors on the palette, Azimitin Green Yellow, Permanent Sub Green and Hooker's Green Light. I will use them in some mixes and maybe I will add them into the flower part as well, not only to the leaves or stems. Okay, let's start as always by covering the surface with a very light color. You can even use just clean water. I just have some of the color on my brush. So the color of the water, it's a bit pink already. And it's not bad because we will paint pink as well. As we move closer to the center of the flower, I will add some more bright and dense color. And the main challenge is to keep the surface wet, because uh, during summer especially, the paper gets dry so fast that I have no time to make all the things that I want in the first layer. I'm avoiding this uh, central part of the flower and behind this central part should be a very dark part of the flower, but we will work on it later. And now we just need to make a very smooth edges of this uh, first layer that we have. I can add a little bit of paints gray and um, mix it with ruby and with kinecridon rose to create this dark pinkish shade and to add to the middle of the flower right away.
I will leave it dry and I will move to the right part of this flower and uh, also as always I will start with a very light pink color. This part will be quite dark, especially at the upper part, so I will add some dark mix right away on the right side of the flower. I move my brush in the same direction that the flower grows and I can show some texture of the flower right away with the brush strokes. Since it's uh, wet on wet, these brush strokes doesn't look very bright or with sharp edges and that's something we need. Now I want to move to painting the stem and I will prepare the green color mixes on the palette. So basically I uh, have permanent sub green on the right and azimuthian green yellow in the middle and hooker's green light on the left side. So uh, my main task is to create a very light and um, warm green color. You can use also mix of green and yellow if you don't have these shades that I'm using. And um, we will connect the stem and the flower right away. Now I can mix some uh, hooker's green light and kinacridone rose or you can add ruby as well to create this pretty dark green color and to put it on the shadow on the right side. So make sure that your paper is not too wet because you see that even though I'm working on wet surface the colors don't blend totally with each other. Now I'll clean my brush and I will dab it on the paper towel to get rid of the green shade because we will come back to painting the flowers and the water should be very clean. So I move to the left flower and I also start with a very light color. These color lilies have pretty simple shape. I would say and I can easily split the flower on the different parts like light areas and dark areas so that's why I find this object for painting like relaxing and easy.
Now I'll move to this further part of the flower and um, I think I want to add some ultramarine. I have it on my palette and I think that you also might have this color. If you don't, it's totally fine. It's just spontaneous thought that I had. So um, I will create this part and I need to make it a little bit darker than the further part that we will paint later. And it will be lighter than the flower on the right. So uh, basically when you are painting something you need to split this object in some areas and uh, to compare them with each other, which one will be lighter, which one will be darker. And uh, to compare like this, the whole picture, like uh, what is the darkest spot and what is the lightest spot, what is the middle value. And uh, also if you see that some areas, they look the same, they look similar, you have to decide or you can decide because you are the artist and you decide which area will be light and which area will be darker. I'm painting this little curly thing on the left and um, make sure that the first area that we painted are totally dry because we don't want these colors to blend and um, we can add some green shade like subgreen or subgreen and azimuthine i'm using also hooker's green light some green shades that we have on the palette just make sure that it's not too dark next to the pink shade. I have pretty dark line in the middle, but um, on the right side I will take a very light and warm green shade. So make sure that it's it has a lot of water and um, a very light green color. And once again we are painting the flower and I will use with a pretty light pink color called pink, so it's more like kinecridon rose. And I need to make this part pretty dark at the bottom and darker than the upper part of the flower, so you'll see. To make this color darker, you can add not only paint gray, but also green color to the mix. And it will make this um, pink color pretty dark and muted. And this is what we need for the bottom part of the flower. Just make sure that the surface is wet and we blend in the colors. We don't have like rough edges.
and some brush strokes as well to repeat the shape and the direction of the flower. Using this very dark mix, I will paint this part on the right side, not even wetting it with water first, just applying the color, because I need this part very dark. I will paint the stem the same as I did before with the right one. I will first apply a very light mix of green and then I will darken the edge of this stem. And you see I didn't wait long enough so the colors blended and basically I don't have the light area and the dark area on the left stem. I think that uh, it's fine because now the both stems look different but if you want to leave the highlight to create the highlight you can use clean and dry brush and just to lift the color from the surface. Now I will apply the mix of ruby and kinecridon rose on the left side of the right flower. It's a very small part and it will be easy to paint. So first I apply this color and then I use the dark mix to create this contrast between the right part of the flower and this dark one that is in the shadow. Now we are moving to painting the middle part of the flower, stamens or pestles, I'm not sure. And um, I will use yellow ochre and a little bit of rose color, kinocridon rose that I have. I can also add some green shade to make the color more natural, not so yellow, but more like neutral brownish color, let's say. But I'm using a very light mix. If you have ultramarine, you can also add a little bit of ultramarine to this mix. And uh, while the surface is wet, I will create a bit of texture as well. I'm switching to the brush number zero because it's more convenient for me to use. And uh, now I will leave this. Um, middle part dry and for now I will create the texture on the flower with this small brush. If you see that you made two dark lines, you can use the paper towel to remove this darkness 
but unfortunately it's not always possible sometimes you can uh, wet again the surface and then remove this color but i will just add some lines that represent the texture of the flower just uh, using lighter color that i did before and also i need to highlight this shape of the flower that it's like going inside and it's not flat I will make some lines on the stem as well using dark green color and uh, normally when we paint in these textured lines uh, we are using just colors that are left on the palette. Now the only thing left is to paint the texture on this middle stamen and um, I'm just mixing some darker color and apply random dots in the middle. Our flowers are done. If you want to share your painting on Instagram, don't forget to tag my account artcardgov. I'll be happy to see your paintings and to share it on my stories. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to see more painting tutorials and watercolor life hacks. And I hope to see you in my other classes.